Hello and welcome to another Handy Dan video. I just received the Steinbauer power module for the electric smart car model 451. Let's open this up. In the box here we have a Steinbauer brochure. They are into performance upgrades on cars, trucks, and agricultural equipment. They have over 20 years of engineering expertise. And we have this step-by-step -step instruction with pictures. Very well laid out. And here is the power module. A closer look at that. wire harness okay. the module is actually heavier than you would think it's very solidly built Nice looking unit. Okay, let's get started. Now my car I have this subwoofer I have to remove. You can see that in another one of my videos. Just raise up the rear carpet. I use this hood prop stick to hold the carpet up. Comes in handy. Just take a quarter turn and pop this cover off. Step one, disconnect the battery. And back here, We'll be accessing this little positive post down here and the ground. And this is the plug on the motor controller we will be connecting to. Hold the tab and remove the plug. With a small flat bladed screwdriver, pry open and remove the cover. and cut the zip tie holding it to the wires. Okay, on the connector here we need these yellow wires. We have pin 8 yellow white and pin 9 yellow. That's what we all need. So using a small pin tool, we will push out those two connectors to remove the wires. Here's the adapter cable that will go back into the plug. According to the instructions here, Adapter cable will pin back into pin 8 on the brown wire and pin 9 on the white wire. I'll do pin 9 first since it's on the bottom. Okay, then you got to re engage the lock clip with a flat screwdriver like this. So we've got the wires all inserted and the lock clip pushed back down. Ok, 
Okay, so we finished that one. And the other plug is over here. There's pin one is yellow and white, and pin two is yellow. Small plug has numbers on the end. Make sure you snap those in until you hear it click. We have yellow white in position one and yellow in position two. Put a zip tie back on the wires. Plug it back into the motor controller. Lock the little lever. This is the cap and the nut off the positive post. That's down here and this is where the wire goes. Okay, so we now have the black wire on the ground. And the red wire on the positive side. We snap the cover back on. Kind of tight down here. Got to get a little leverage at it. There it goes. Take these other two plugs on the harness and plug them into the car side. Push them in until they click. And then this plug will go to the module. It plugs in, has a locking lever. We'll just set that to the side here and tidy up the wires. Okay, it's all completed. All the wires are taped up and tied back. Got the module mounted over here on some open cell foam to keep vibrations down. Put everything back together. And then reconnect the battery. Okay, here we're going to do a test run, a little 0 to 60. We got our drag strip checker here set to 0. We're good to go. one run, we'll log that one, turn around and do it again. Come to a stop and wait for the GPS to zero itself. Okay, all zeroed.
There's another little zero to forty five. Got a lot more pep and pull than before. It's a fun little toy. Here we have a comparison of the stock car versus the power module before and after. You see a little bit of hump in the ground. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.